welcome to the ninth installment of Rendered Out. I'm Aaron Crennan, and I'll be taking you on a magical international journey through foreign lands. Here at Rendered Out, we're an equal opportunity news source. With that said, now for a film festival about bikes. That's right, it's a film festival that's all about your favorite two-wheel transportation. Sorry, Segway. <laughs> The Filmed by Bike Film Festival is a festival featuring around 30 of the best films about bikes. The festival will take place April 17th through the 23rd. And if you choose to pedal your way to Portland to check it out, know that your dollars will be working hard to bring you the county bike fair. So be sure to check this one out. Sorry, no training wheels allowed. In its 17th year, the Toronto Jewish Film Festival kicks off this year with the film Camera Obscura, an Argentine romance along with 90 other movies about love, music, family, bad guys, baseball, and a little sex. For more information, visit tjff.com. And why not make things really awkward and commute between the Toronto Jewish Film Festival and the, Ch and the Chicago Palestine Film Festival beginning the same day? Why? This may be the key to peace in the Middle East! The festival runs from April 18th through the 30th in the Gene Siskel Film Center. And yes, this is the same Gene Siskel famous for having a thumb. The opening night feature will be Salt of the Sea by acclaimed director Anna Marie Jassir, who will also make a personal appearance and will be available for dialogue and Q&A session after the screening on opening night, Saturday, April 18th, beginning at 8 p.m. For more information, visit palestinefilmfest.com. Now for a special rendered out report from the field, here's Ryan Trump. Thanks, Aaron. This past weekend, I made a trip down to, the, down to Iowa City for the seventh annual Iowa City Docs Festival. Sponsored by the University of Iowa Communications and Film Departments, the festival featured over 10 hours of documentaries over three days. I went to the festival with low expectations, and there were no surprises here. The festival offered up numerous films that varied in length from two minutes to full hour films. The subject, subjects and lengths were so varied that there was no continuity in the program. These films were presented without any introduction or explanation. In addition to the lackluster presentation of films, the awards were equally unprofessional. Featuring the classic Best in Fest award, the awards go downhill from here. Awards included Most Badass, too Cool for School, and Mad Skills. Of the films I saw, Sitting on a Million took home the award for Most Badass. The film covers the infamous Mame Fay, who ran a brothel that was nationally renowned during the 1900s. The film was very highly produced and well done. However, it suffered by being presented following an abstract film that hardly seemed to fit the documentary category at all. The festival judges included Patricia Zimmerman, who offered up a lecture at the conclusion of the festival. Zimmerman is a well-noted filmmaker and professor at Ithaca College in New York. Zimmerman's lecture on speculations on migratory archives had very little to do with the documentary medium and was far over the heads of many of the guests at the festival. Following her presentation, Zimmerman offered up the awards for the evening. Unfortunately, none of the filmmakers were present to receive their awards, but surely would have been embarrassed by the poor turnout. Only 10 to 15 people turned out for the festival, easily surpassed by the powwow that was next door. And as they say, when in Rome, and when in Iowa City, it's time to party. The festival was both started and concluded with parties at two of the local bars. I wasn't able to attend either of these events, but no doubt the parties were as raucous as the screenings. As the only member of the audience that was not a member of the University of Iowa, I can safely say that this subpar film festival is only worth checking out if you're already in the area. So with that said, now back to you, Aaron. Thank you very much for that enchanting report, Ryan. I'm extremely honored to announce the world premiere of Deadland at the Atlanta Film Festival on Saturday night, April 18th at 9.30 p.m. The aptly named Deadland is surprisingly not about zombies, but rather post-apocalyptic nuclear war survivors. Whoopee! Almost the entire movie was shot in Georgia, and over half the cast and crew are from various parts of the state. The film stars Gary Weeks from Burn Notice and The Office, as well as Brian T. from Fast and the Furious, Tokyo Drift, and up-and-comer Colin Douglas, noted for his performance in Ace Ventura Jr. 
built off the success of the canonical work Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Now I never saw Ace Ventura Jr., but I'm sure this straight-to-DVD blockbuster will get screwed over come Oscar time. I'm not even sure what I'm talking about anymore. Oh yeah, check out Deadland, not about zombies. And that's the end of that.